if you serve and you support when people go to make a buying decision, you are top of mind. And that's exactly what we teach inside of our community. Like by the time someone gets on a sales call with us, it's not, should I buy this? It's where do I give you my money? Welcome to the Agency Hour podcast, where we help web design and digital agency owners create abundance for themselves, their teams, and their communities. We're excited to be back here for 2024, bringing you some amazing guests this year. And one thing we've decided to do this year, and we meant to do this last year, but frankly, we just forgot, is to highlight how each episode of the podcast and each guest that we're bringing in fits into our overall model that we use to help agency scale. It's called the Agency GPS Model. There will be a link below this episode of the podcast taking you to a page that explains it and also a page where you can sign up and go through a series of questions and get your very own game plan and scorecard to help you implement each of the nine components of the Agency GPS Model to help you improve different parts of your business. So this particular episode, we're joined by Jenna Larson, who is the co-founder of Group Track CRM. And in this episode, we talk about Jenna's journey from running her own online performance coaching business to accidentally creating Group Track CRM to solve the champagne problem of having too many leads because her lead strategy was working too well. We also talk about the difference between leads and serving your existing audience, which is a conversation that we will continue to have over the coming weeks and months. We both believe that everyone has been brainwashed to think they need leads and it's a race to the bottom. And while you're spending time chasing leads, you're not spending time serving your audience and really having that servant mindset and being the most valuable person in your audience's network is really the the correct strategy rather than wasting time chasing leads. And Jenna's got some great examples and great stories that she shares with us on this episode. Now, I can tell you firsthand that tracking group engagement in a Facebook group and just in social media in general can be an absolute nightmare. So if you're using social media to have conversations with people and eventually nurture them from becoming, you know, just a a lead to a, a prospect to having a conversation, getting them over the line and turning them into a client, then Group Track CRM is a no brainer. And this episode is full of gold. Now, I promised that I would let you know how this fits into our agency GPS model. One of the first things that we talk about when we start working with agencies is literally just getting in front of more people. We call it expand reach. It is one of the nine core projects that you can work on from the agency GPS model. And expanding your reach is part of growing your authority. What we know is that if you are seen as an authority in your niche or your niche, then there will be an increase in demand for the services that you offer. And it's a very straightforward process and strategy to grow your authority and to be seen as an authority. And that doesn't mean you need to be an influencer or you need to start a YouTube channel or you need to start a podcast or anything like that. If you don't want to do that, that's totally fine. We're not here to tell you that you need to do things that are not within your comfort zone or within your wheelhouse. But it's very easy to publish some of your knowledge and your experience and position yourself as a trusted source of information. And social media is a big part of that. And so Group Track CRM fits very nicely within our expand reach aspect of the agency GPS model. Again, there are links under this episode to check out the agency GPS model and uh, download your scorecard and your game plan, which gives you a bunch of tactical advice so that you can just hit the ground running and get the needle moving this afternoon. All right, without further ado, let's go and meet Jenna from Group Track CRM. I'm Troy Dean. Stay with us. So without further ado, please welcome to the Agency Hour, the fabulous Jenna Dubois-Larsen. Hello, Jenna. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me. We just had a chat off camera that your name is actually Jenna Larson. Your maiden name is Dubois. Is it hyphenated? Do you use the hyphenated? I don't. I just, once I got married, I didn't want to let go of Dubois, so I changed it to my middle name. Mm -hmm. It's like a whole thing. Well, so a lot of people don't know this, but Dean is actually my middle name. I have this long German last name, which I haven't used since I was about 19 years old. And my wife's last name is Fellman. So our kids are hyphenated Dean Fellman, my middle name and her last name, just to completely mess them up. Oh, and yeah. send them straight into therapy as early as we can. So uh, it's working. Now, for those that don't know, who are you and what are you doing here on the Agency Hour podcast? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be here. So uh, yeah, Jenna Larson, and I'm the co-founder of Group Track CRM, um, which is a social media software that helps you track, organize, and convert your leads. So 
we met at an event and totally just hit it off on not only like just business stuff, but like human stuff. And so Mm -hmm. when you invited me to be here, I was like, um, yes, please. We need to tell the world everything that we agree on so they can do it too. So super excited to share. It was a great chat and I ended up bringing in half of my team or whoever was there I could find to come and meet you. Um, Mm -hmm. I just want to, I just want to give a quick explanation of the problem that group track, and we're going to talk a little bit more about the product in a minute. I do want to kind of unpack a little bit of your entrepreneurial journey, but I just want to give people a heads up who are maybe deciding whether or not they're going to stay here with us for the full episode. I think you should because Group Track CRM, the problem that it solved for me is that I live in Messenger. I get so many incoming messages in Facebook Messenger and it's a nightmare trying to keep track of where people are at in a conversation, which resource I've already given them, what they've responded to, what they're interested in. I'd used a bunch of these over the years that are little CRMs for Messenger and frankly, they're all a bit shit. And I, someone was telling me about Group Track CRM. I think Alexis was telling me about Group Track CRM. I went and checked it out, had a demo. It blew my mind. The integration with high level, matching of the pipelines is a no-brainer. And then when I started to get into the product, I discovered all these automations that just completely blew my mind. So if you are using social media to have conversations with people and lead them down a path to either help them with some free resources or get them on a call and sell them one of your products or services. Group Track CRM is a no-brainer. And also, I've learned uh, it's not just for managing people in a group, right? You can just use this to manage people in your Instagram and your Facebook DMs who, even if you don't have a group. Yeah. I mean, it literally works anywhere. And it's really funny. We we built this about three and a half years ago, kind of on accident. And the first problem it was solving was just help me track and organize the people in my group. And so we named it group track. Um, Mm -hmm. But since then, we've had such amazing entrepreneurs come in and use the tool and say, can you do this? Can you do this? Can you build this? And so it has been a really collaborative effort. And because of that, it works everywhere on social media. So using your personal profile on your news feed, your DMs in groups, out of groups. It's crazy. It even works on Instagram as well. So it's just completely exploding with all these different features and all sorts of cool stuff, but it does work everywhere on social media using your personal profile. Yeah, that's right. It's not for your business page. It's for your personal profile. I do want to unpack some more of the features of the product in a, in a moment, but before we get there, let's wind back to three and a half years ago. What were you doing before you decided to build this? And I know because I have friends, I've started and and stopped many a software venture and I have friends who have software companies. Yeah. It costs a lot of money. It takes a lot. Of, it takes way longer than you think it's going to take. It costs way more than you think it's going to cost. Right. At what, what got you to a point where you made a mental commitment to building this software and you, you bit that off, not knowing how big it was going to be? Where were you at that point? We, I am so lucky. I have a pretty cool story. I actually started a different uh, online business um, a couple years before that. So my first company was Drive Performance Coaching, and I was basically taking everything I learned in my corporate position and teaching online entrepreneurs how to manage clients and keep clients. So like client retention is my number one thing, right? And so I started coaching my clients in my coaching business on how to get leads online and how to keep them buying. But I created a problem, right? Because people were like, oh my God, your strategies are working so well that we have so many conversations, so many leads, so many clients, we are losing our mind, right? So they're like, this is really cool, Jenna, but now you're making me like lose it, right? And so mm. Group Track accidentally was created because I was like, I need a solution. And so um, I was driving to a holiday one party one day and I was like, <gasps> oh my God, we just need to build a system where our people are hanging out, which is on social media. So we're not copying and pasting between all the different, you know, millions of systems. Mm -hmm. And so I called um, Nathan, who at the time was an owner of a different software company. I was actually his coach. Um, We had done some private coaching together for me to help him learn how to sell his software. And I was like, Mm -hmm. Nate, you have to build this. And he was like, it's not possible, not going to happen. And I was like, that was not exciting in my head. I'm like million dollar idea. And so two weeks later he messaged me and he's like, Oh my God, I did it. And I'm like, you did what? You know? Cause you know, that, that was gone. It was like, it's a hard no, it's not going to happen. And yeah, he started to build it. And so we were like, Oh my God, is this a real thing? And so yeah, about three and a half years, we launched it. First day was a 20K day. So we were like, oh, maybe wow. there is a really good market for it. And so, yeah, since then, it's just kind of exploded. 
Wow. And so who's on the team these days at Group Track CRM? Yeah, we're pretty lean. So it's myself um, and Nathan are the co-founders. We have someone in operations who does kind of everything. She's like our savior really in the business, but she does our community management. Um, we have a, a part-time developer, a full-time developer and tech support. So very, very lean business. Uh, but that's the beautiful thing. And that's the thing that I want to tell people all the time is like, it doesn't take a large following on social media. It doesn't take a high ticket offer. It doesn't take Mm. a big group. It doesn't take a big team. It doesn't even take ad money. We've spent $0 in ads ever. on this, And we've collected over a million in a year just using group track and the organic strategies. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. I'm so jealous. I would love to turn off ads. Actually, I, I, I lie. Uh, it's part of, I love running ads. It's part of our strategy because I'm vain and I want to be famous on the internet. Um, right. Well, now, that's great. Just, there you go. Um, now, the, the, so you roll out group track for your own coaching business. At what point do you go, hmm, there's something in this. I'm going to go full time on this and just focus on this. How long did that take? Uh, probably about a year. I had a, you know, a, high ticket coaching program that I just loved and it was fueling my soul. And so it was really hard Mm -hmm. to let it go. Um, but once I started realizing MRR is glorious, uh, Mm -hmm. and I didn't have to constantly refill my clients as they fell out of contract. Um, Mm -hmm. and just really like realizing the truth, which was everybody who uses their personal profile and social media to get clients needs this tool. Um, Mm -hmm. you know, so probably about a year and a half in, I was like, "Mm, time to like totally go hard and, you know, put all my attention there. So we actually closed my other business, which bittersweet, but now I'm like, it's so much nicer to run one company and not two. So yeah. Yeah, totally. And so what was the feature stack when you first started out? Because group track CRM now is very, and actually part of, and I talked about this in the intro, but part of what we teach here, like if someone comes to me, an agency comes to me and says like, I need clients. First thing, Actually, they don't. They say, I need leads, which we'll talk about in a moment. The first thing I do is go, great, who do you want? Like if I could give you a client right now, what do they look like? I have no idea. They should breathe and have a pulse and have money. And so the first thing I do is tell them to go and figure out who their ideal client avatar is. And then one of the next things I do, I talk about, we talk about is you need to just fill your digital Rolodex, right? You just need to get in front of more people and tell more people what you do. And one of the fastest ways to do that is to go and get famous in someone else's Facebook group by just being super freaking helpful, right? Yes. Yes. And at that point, you are going to have people reach out to you in the DMs and ask you for advice. And at that point, you are very quickly going to get overwhelmed. And so you're going to need something like Group Track CRM to manage those conversations. You don't even need to build your own group to do this. That's an yeah. advanced strategy that we teach is you should own your own Facebook group because it's a real yeah. asset, right? Oh, yeah. Um, so what was the initial feature set of Group Track that got you traction and got you product market fit without all the fancy stuff you've got going on now? What was that first feature set like? Yeah. I mean, literally the first thing was just being able to click on your members um, in your Facebook group and be able to like put them through the pipeline stages so you know where they are in your customer journey. So that was like the big thing because it's like, if I talk to you, whether it's your Facebook group or your Facebook friends list, and I'm like, cool, of the people that you are, you know, having conversations with, how many of them have you made an offer to? How many of them are buyers? Half the people are like, I have no idea. I'm just doing the things, right? And so mm. just simply being able to like have a pipeline to be able to say, okay, these people from social media, add them to the pipeline, work them through the process and the stages. That alone was like life changing to people. And then the Mm -hmm. second piece of that was being able to manage the DMs. And so that was part of the initial feature release where you could go into the DMs, add people to group track as well. And again, that, you know, that pipeline view is right there in your DMs so that you can see exactly where they are in your customer journey. So it was pretty simple when we launched. And, and so, and it, did it start out with the Chrome extension? Was that the thing that really got it? Okay. Yeah. So, so for people listening, a lot of this is the way I manage a lot of this is whenever I'm looking at people in Facebook and I have the Chrome extension installed, the group track CRM Chrome extension installed, a little button and a bunch of options come up that allow me to add that person to group track. It'll look for them. It'll find a match. If they're not a match, I can add them to group track and I can put them in a particular stage of a pipeline. I can also apply a tag to them yep. if I want to. Um, and so there's the actual web app, Group Track CRM, but then there's also the Chrome extension. Did the web app come later? Was it just the Chrome extension to begin with? Yeah, we had that from day one because we, that was the big thing, right? It's like, if you're working on Facebook, you don't own that, right? Like that's, that's far right. land that we're on, right? And so we wanted to be able to have a way to capture that data and store it for you 
from day one, right? So we've got the Chrome extension and then the web app and they sync real time. So if you add someone, it shows up. And then within the web app, you can do all sorts of sorting and segmenting to really dial in. One of my favorite things about you, Troy, is like, the idea that we need to be humans, right? And have Mm -hmm. actual conversations. And so a lot of people think like, oh, automations, CRM, it's robot, it's a bot, like it removes the human, right? And I think Mm -hmm. through the web app and really kind of our mission and what we teach at GroupTrack, it's actually how do we give the people that we're connecting with the most unique and personalized experience because they're talking to a human. We just Mm -hmm. scale those reach and those efforts using group track, right? So being able to have that web app and like filter down and say, okay, show me everybody with this pain point. Show me everybody with this goal. Let's just message these people, right? Because it's noisy right now on social media, right? I'm going to cut through and, and I've been saying this for a long time, like robots are really good at helping us stay organized, right? Or, you know, vacuuming our house for us while we're at work. But I wouldn't let robots parent my children or teach them life lessons. Right. So I, I would use robots to help keep my schedule organized. And I use this great tool called Motion, uh, usemotion.com, which is like a, has this cool kind of AI built into it where it finds gaps in my calendar and then goes, oh, well, your priority tasks are X, Y, Z. I'm just going to put those tasks in your calendar for you automatically. So that's yeah. kind of cool. Yeah. But I sure as hell wouldn't let a robot host the podcast and have these conversations. And right. I sure as hell wouldn't let a robot coach my clients and give them advice. Right. Uh, that's what human beings are really good at, I think, is connecting with other humans, listening, understanding the problem, guiding, giving advice, holding space, having someone to lean on and having that support. And that emotional intelligence, I think, that allows you to decipher what's really going on, the problem behind the problem, and allow a client to have a transformation by just holding up a mirror and showing them, you know, maybe reflecting what's going on for them and allowing them to work through that and hopefully, you know, the, that whole concept of like self-determination is allowing a client to arrive at a solution for themselves and just guiding them on that conversation rather than just telling them what to do. Right. Absolutely. So, so, so the robots, I think in group track CRM help me stay more organized, but I'm the one sending the messages, ladies and gentlemen, if you get a message exactly. from me and messenger, it comes from me, right? right? It's not coming from a robot. Um, I do want to talk about before I, before we get into the, I want to get into a couple of the automation features in group track because they are freaking amazing. But I, before we do that, I just want to talk about leads. Yeah. Jenna. I want yeah. to have this conversation about yeah. leads because we had it at a high level. We've been having it online ever since the number one. And I want your take on this. The number one question that I get from people or the number one need I get from people, it doesn't matter who they are. They could be brand new. It doesn't matter what business model they are either like agencies plumbers, accountants, doesn't matter if they've been around for five minutes or 15 years, they've been in my coaching program for four years, right? They, people are hardwired and brainwashed to say that they need leads. Why do you think that is? And uh, what do you think? Yeah, like, and and, and why, why, why are they wrong? Why are they wrong? And why do you think people are brainwashed to they say that? Are- so wrong. I don't know what is going on and who is telling everybody that they need more leads. It's actually wild to me. What we actually need to do is have a strategy and a system to convert the ones we already have, right? Mm -hmm. Um, It is crazy, right? Uh, And maybe they just need to be directed to where the leads are literally just sitting in front of them. Um, Mm -hmm. But it's like this, right? I love this analogy. Um, You know, like a Facebook group, for example, you might have some listeners who have a Facebook group who are like, man, there's only 300 people in the, in the group. Right. And they might be sad about that. Um, but the truth is, right. If you were in the bathroom and there's 300 people with you, you might think that's a lot of people, right? (laughs) The other thing is, right. If you're in a group, so imagine your Facebook group is like a brick and mortar building again, 300 people. If you had 300 people inside of your retail store, Would you be outside of the store yelling and complaining like, I need more people to come in. What's the problem, right? Which is literally what we do with our Facebook groups or our leads list or whatever, right? Instead Mm -hmm. of turning around and being like, wow, there are all these people who have already opted in. They've walked in the door. They've expressed interest. I should probably serve them, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of the idea that we want to say is like, you don't need more leads, right? I mean, yes, we want to consistently be adding the right leads to your system, um, but we want to serve and support the people we have so we can actually convert them and get them really good results. So that's kind of our scream from the rooftop message. Totally. Stop chasing leads because the, the reality is if you serve the people you know better than anyone else on the planet, 
you become the number one most valuable person in their network, they wake up thinking, like I will admit, the days after high level, my head was spinning, I was full of information, I had so much going on, there were a few conversations that I was thinking about while I was going to bed at night. One was the conversation that you and I had and I was thinking about group track. One was with uh, Johan from White Label Suite I was, and I've reconnected with him. One was from Ryan at Growthable. There was 8,000 conversations that just didn't see the light of day because they didn't resonate with me or they weren't my priority. So uh, I, you know, that's what you want. You want your prospects waking up going, I've got to connect with Jenna and talk about group track CRM, right? And if you become that most valuable person in their network, then they will tell their friends. They become your fire starters and your mavens that spread the message for you. The other thing that I will say about leads is, and I've proven this so many times, I've had people on Zoom calls and I've gone, dude, let's go. Here's D7 Lead Finder. Tell me who you want, right? I'll generate 25 leads for you right now. These are legitimate names, emails, phone numbers. There you go. There they are. Copy and paste into Slack. We're done? Great. What are you going to do with them? I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. Pick up the phone and call them. I don't know what to say. Right, so stop telling me you need leads. You don't need leads. What you need is a system to have a conversation with a stranger, nurture them, add value, and then a percentage of them will want to become your clients, right? That's the way it's worked since the Roman Empire. And, yes, I'm a man. I think about the Roman Empire lots, okay? It's a meme. It's also a fact. I think about the Roman Empire every day. So having said all of that, um, the – the, now, the other thing I will say is that leads I actually think are useless, right? Leads are not valuable, right? What I want is, I, and I'll go back to Kevin Kelly's article from 2008, right? 1,000 raving fans. What I want is I want my 1,000 raving fans. I want my 1,000 people who will buy Agency Mavericks toilet paper if we make it because they just love us so much, right? So um, leads are worthless, right? Because and if you think about like a, like a detective who's got a lead on a crime, right? Well, I've got a lead, but like what are the chances? What are the odds? Like there's so much work you have to do. What you want is you want someone to walk into the police station and say, I know who did it, right? And so I, my personal kind of take on this is that while you're busy chasing leads, you're losing an opportunity and you're spending time that you should be spending putting out incredibly valuable content for the people who need it and, and come from that servant mindset where I'm here to serve you better than anyone on the planet. And over time, you will build your 1,000 raving fans. And yes, we always want to be adding people to our list, but don't get caught in the trap of chasing leads because it's a race to the bottom, man. And I'll tell you also, if you spend any time on the internet, there's 8 million people on every street corner selling you something to help you get leads. And that is going to keep you stuck in that mindset. Right? Oh yeah. Well, they're selling that idea because they want you to need leads, right? That's it's, right? It's just wild. And I think that's why I like you so much because like, we're so aligned on this idea that if you serve and you support when people go to make a buying decision, you are top of mind. And that's exactly what we teach inside of our community. Like by the time someone gets on a sales call with us, it's not, should I buy this? It's where do I give you my money, right? That's right. And that's yep. because we do so much. And just let me qualify when I say we do so much. We don't work very much, but we do so much because we have a tool that can help expedite it, right? And keep it moving without feeling that's like right. we're doing a lot of work. But yep. we run the exact same strategy in our Facebook community every single week that gets mm-hmm. people who are the right leads to raise their hand to engage with us, to show up and to opt into a sales call every Mm. single week. We don't have to recreate the wheel. We don't have to think about what to do. It's just do this Mm. thing. And what happens is you really start to sift, right? We want the like gold nuggets to float up to the top. So that's where we can spend our time. I think one of the things we connected on is, you know, a lot of um, our competitors or other even coaches in the industry are all going in on like, spam the world, send 50,000 messages and just, you know, do a numbers game. And it's not working. People don't like it. And, you know, maybe in 2020, it was okay. It's not okay today. Right. Mm. And so what we have to make sure that we're doing is being that number one service provider. And Mm. like I said, when they are ready to make a buying decision, you are the one they're going to go to because you have been there every single day serving and supporting. And so, you know, that is what we create with communities is that like, loyalty and that culture where people will literally like, 
you know, with group track, for example, we are at the mercy of Facebook. If they make mm-hmm. one little change to their code, we have to rechange, you know, recode our tool, right? Mm-hmm. We've had a day where like Facebook changed everything. So we're like, oh my gosh, you know, frantically doing it. We had clients sending us gift cards and coffee to our homes. Like we got you, we love you. We know you are going to wow. do this. Like, that is the culture we want to create in our communities, right? Yep, because they totally. know that they're loved and that they're served. And it's just wild because retention is everything. Like I said, in my prior business or yeah, like corporate life, all I focused on was client retention. And it's mm. just crazy. If you serve the people, whether they're a client or not, they will continue with you. Right. Mm, that's it's not right. what we want to create. Yeah. And software is sticky. And there's something like group track CRM is extremely sticky. Um, I've seen over the last couple of years that the coaches who are doing the best are, are the ones who have kind of dialed in software or, really ramped up the one-on-one accountability, which has been our play. We've like everyone else has gone to group coaching and post COVID yeah. we've ramped up the one-on-one because yeah. that we know that's where we get the best results with our clients. Yeah. A couple of things, a couple of the features I want to talk about in group track. One is um, this idea that I can get people. And so full transparency, we've kind of, I've taken uh, Jenna's strategy. I've rebuilt it from a visual point of view. I'm now training my team. We're actively looking at now hiring someone to come in and run the group full time and implement the strategy. There's a couple of things that really excite me. One is running these kind of regular workshops or webinars in the group and getting people to raise their hand and kind of register for that event. And then they go into a completely separate nurture sequence in the DMs and in email, right? Because group track integrates with whatever CRM you're using. We use high level, but it also integrates with active campaign or whatever you're using. So if you tag someone in group track, the tag can be mimicked in high level. It can be pushed across and they can be put into a workflow and automation. So just talk to me about, how that works from a, a a person in the group, like what's their experience of that? There's all this cool automation going on behind the scenes yeah. to make our lives easy, but what's their experience as a group member? Yeah, absolutely. And it's so fun because, you know, we're going to serve at this crazy level because the tool is going to help us do that. Um, but what's really neat is the experience of the person in the group, right? We get screenshot after screenshot of our own clients that are doing our strategy with their prospects. And they're like, whoa, I have never been treated like this in a community. This is crazy, right? And so, you know, when you serve, people really do feel that. So what the strategy that Troy and I are talking about is, you know, doing a weekly content strategy. So every week we do a hand raiser and we say something like, hey, do you have this problem? Do you have this goal? Do you want this thing? Say this word, right? It's the most simple post you will ever make. You don't need a copywriter. You don't need any AI, like literally, do you want this? Say yes. Right? So every single week we have all these people commenting. Now, one of our ninja tricks, because we know algorithm can be a little bit, you know, whatever we actually will take that post and we will email everybody directly to it to drive the algorithm. So what's really Uh. cool about that is If you click the link in our email, if you're in our group already, it takes you directly to that post and then you're going to start commenting. If you click the link from the email and you're not in our group, when you click it, it's going to propose that you join our group. So it's going to grow our group organically every single week. So love it. All the people are commenting on this post saying, me, 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 I want it, I want it, right? And so what Group Track is going to be able to do is automate the follow-up. So everybody who comments on the post, Group Track is going to automatically add them to your pipeline, automatically assign a tag based on what it was that they asked for. So again, you can segment later in the future and really give that level of service. And then it's going to automatically react to everybody who comments, automatically reply, automatically start that DM all with the intention of, again, getting them into that weekly live training that we do every single week. And so all week, we're implementing this very minimal strategy to get maximum results. Because when we do our training, guess what? Tons of people show up live because we've done the automations and the reminders and the work to really get that interest. And so when we do our live training, we are typically showing some sort of lead magnet or resource and saying, again, if you want this, say me, say me. So we're really, really driving the algorithm. And then again, we're sifting the people out, right? So depending on what size your group is, let's say you have 3,000 members. Well, 3,000 people are probably not ready to buy today. But when we run this strategy weekly, we're just getting the golden nuggets to come up to the top, raise their hand. We actually place them in a separate pipeline so then we can really, really focus on them. But again, what happens from the user perspective is they're like, whoa, I said I wanted this. 
Now somebody is in my DMs getting me onto the call so I don't forget and they're serving me and then they're saying, you know, so one of the things we do every week is we do follow up in the DMs to say, hey, thank you for, you know, coming and watching our training on the strategy. Is this something you're going to do on your own or would you like to learn about how we can support you in implementing so you get those results quicker? easy offer, right? And so what's beautiful is it's so personalized. It's so unique. It's so custom, right? That people are like, yep, let's go. Right. So we book calls off that every week. Great. I love it. And thank you for sorting that strategy out because I know how much work and how much thought and detail is in that strategy. And as a group track CRM customer, I've got that strategy, which I'm now mapping out and adding a few little tweaks for our group and training yeah. the team. It would have taken me, I mean, I just wouldn't have happened. Yeah. Like, like how busy I am as a business owner, I just would never have found the time to sit down and work that strategy out and think through the detail and think through the experience for the group members yeah. and how we automate that to make our lives easier on the back end. So appreciate yeah. you and your team for doing that. Yeah. Uh, it's it's awesome. Thank you so much. Now, I hear you. You might be thinking, well, this is great, Troy and Jenna, and I'm really excited about this, but I just don't have time to nurture anyone on social media because I'm too busy with client work. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that because what I will do is suggest that you go and have a conversation with Manish and the team at E2M Solutions. They are one of the largest white label WordPress development and SEO and content agencies on the planet. They have 180 staff the last time I counted, and they are our exclusive partner here at the Agency Hour podcast. We're very grateful for the support that they give us. They have also come on board as a sponsor and partner for Mavcon for 2024, which is our series of live events that we're running in February, uh, a virtual event in February, our event in Australia in June, and our event in the States in October. So we're very excited about that. And E2M will have a presence at all of those events again. And we're very uh, excited and honoured about the continuing partnership we have with E2M. We have a bunch of our clients using E2M and having great success. If you have too much work on your desk and you need some help with WordPress development, uh, and SEO and content writing, then go and check out e2msolutions.com slash agency dash mavericks, I think is the link. We'll put that below the podcast here. You get a discount on your first month and they will give you the white glove treatment and help you figure out how they can help you take some of that work off your plate so that you can spend time developing the business and growing the business. The big mistake I see happen all the time is people get too busy with client work and it's all gravy while it's good. And then the client work dries up for whatever reason, the referrals dry up, the leads dry up, the word of mouth goes away and you're sitting there and all of a sudden you're stuck and you don't have revenue coming in. Maybe you haven't got enough recurring revenue to be profitable yet and the projects aren't coming in because you've taken your foot off the pedal in terms of business development. So rule number one, never stop marketing, never stop developing the business and never stop looking for good talent to help you because you can't do it all on your own, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I... I don't want to be too harsh about this, but if it's just you and there's no one helping you, then I'm sorry, you don't have a business. You're self-employed. You've got yourself a little job, which is nice. Maybe that's all you want. That's fine. But let's just call it for what it is, okay? If you want any kind of leverage and any kind of freedom in your life, then you need to have other people doing things for you. doesn't mean you need to grow a huge team. Our team now is smaller than it was a year ago. Uh, we've shrunk our team deliberately. We've changed our business model a little bit, uh, and we've got a great team now of A players. It's very manage, much more manageable for me as the CEO, and uh, everyone's moving in the right direction. So you don't need a huge team. You need the right team for you to be able to free you up so that you can think about what you want to do with the business long term, and also so that you can step away and take a break, have a minute, clear your head, close some of those browser tabs, and uh, think clearly. So go and check out E2M Solutions. Uh, the link will be under the episode here. Have a chat with the team about getting some help to do some of that development work or SEO or content writing so that you can then focus on continuing to grow the business. All right, let's get back to the episode with Jenna. Now, um, I know you do got to run and pick up your little little ones. Where Where is the, f first of all, thank you so much for spending some time with us on the Agency Hour. Thank you for making Group Track. Thank you for being the strategic brain behind all of this and sharing it with the world. We need it uh, and I appreciate you and I know our community does as well. Where's the best way for people to reach out to you apart from, 
obviously plug the group, but also where can people yeah. just reach out and just get involved and, and have a conversation with you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, our website is www.grouptrackcrm.com. But what we would ask you to do is come into our community, right? If you are kind of, you know, somebody who's got a business and you're like, well, I don't know how would it feel, right? If you come into our community, we're going to bring you through the exact process that we teach our clients. So you can feel like, what is it experience like if you are on the receiving end of this? And you're going to see very quickly, like, wow, it feels pretty good to not be a number in someone's group or to be a lead in someone's group that they're like, mm. let's go, let's go convert them in 24 hours. That is not what we teach. It's not how we treat our community members. And if you want to come in and experience how it feels to see if that's something you want to implement in your business, we welcome you to do that. And so awesome. it's called uh, Supercharger Social Media with Group Track CRM is the name of our group. There you go. So we'll put a link under the show notes, supercharge your social media with Group Track CRM. We'll put links to everything under the show notes so you can reach out to Jenna and say hello and get amongst it and get involved in the group. Thank you so much for your time. We'll, I'm going to get you back and do part two of this at some point and then part three and part four because I do want to unpack. And mate, what we should do is actually probably do a live training in our group yeah. so that we can actually do a screen share and show how the thing works and get everyone excited about it. So thank you so much for your time and thanks for joining us on the Agency Hour, Jenna. Yeah, thank you guys. Hey, thanks for tuning in to the Agency Hour podcast and a massive thanks to Jenna for joining us. We're really looking forward to getting the rest of the team on board with Group Track CRM. I know we're going to be able to better serve and support our community, and that makes me very excited. And also, we're going to be able to do it without getting overwhelmed because Group Track CRM is going to allow us to manage it all, which is awesome. Okay, folks, please don't forget to subscribe and share this with anyone that you think may need to hear it. Again, check out the agency GPS model below. The link will be near this episode of the podcast. Check out the uh, questions you can answer to get your tailored, customized game plan to help you start improving your agency right now. And also check out Jenna's group at uh, Group Track CRM. I'm Troy Dean. And remember, one quarter of your body's bones are in your feet. <laughs>